Hold on a second. Huh? Hold on just a second. Okay. Uh, yes. John and I just talked and uh, we're going to start here in another... We're going over right now, but we're going to start within a half hour probably, I'd say. Okay. I just wanted to let you know that. You can come over whenever. Okay. All right. Okay. We are heading to the field. Got dad out here. Looking at the neighbors, watching him work. Neighbor has one of those, I think it's a, yeah, a Dagelman. Uh, high speed disc, it's pretty cool. Dad's out there walking around the field, checking it out. Uh, we're heading to the field. It's, uh, it's 847 in the morning. We're gonna head to the field. Now this corn we're gonna do, we left the field the other day because it was pretty wet. But I tell you what, guys, we're having nice days right now. The corn might be wet, but we're having wonderful days. Nice, warm weather. Sun's out nice. Um, it's going to be decent shelling now. Yeah, it's going to be not good that the corn's so wet, moisture-wise. But but we're going to have good good time to shell. The dryer is going to be one thing. It's going to slow us down. We should be able to get six or eight loads done a day and then we should be all right but we're gonna run over right now and we're gonna go ahead and fill everything up like I say it's gonna be a little wet but it's just the way it's gonna be because we're gonna do some harvesting so we'll get you back at the field uh, we might have parked out of the way usually we park the semis right down here in the ditch here but I think it's going to be solid enough we'll be able to park them in the field. Now you can see my floor, it's filthy. But that's the way it is. There, I'll get you out of the sun. Um, John's sitting here in the Andrews right now. Combine's warming up. Getting ready to head out. Uh, he's gonna, we're going to finish these Andrews off right here on this end of the field. And then go to the other end and do a little bit down there. You can see my mess here. We got cameras and batteries and half drank things, iced tea. And but just because they're half drank doesn't mean they're not good. Pretzels. Uh, cousin John's wife brought those to me. It's a mess, but we're almost finished. Then it'll all get cleaned up.
little trouble with my milk duds. It's what's for lunch. Dumped them on the floor. But that's okay because it makes it easy to reach down here and get them and bring it up and put it in my mouth. Little dirt doesn't hurt. Yes. All right, we're back here in the back working right now. It's, uh, oh, this is where we put the big pipe in across the field. I came over here, oh, a week ago, I think. Brought my loader tractor over here and the, uh, my back blade that goes on the back of my tractor. And I leveled this off enough that uh, we could get drive the combine across it. Now, it's by far not leveled off enough to be really in good shape, but we're good enough that we can at least get across it right now. Go up here and put some in the truck here. We got 27,000 pounds or something like that. Almost a half a load here. Not quite. Maybe finished anyway, the combine crew. Dad thinks they really think there's a gearbox. Looks like you have a lot of manis on yours. I don't have any on mine. Want switch?
trying to tell the camera what's going on while we're in here? <clears throat> They think a gearbox is going out on a combine. Okay. Okay. Well, I can... <laughs> Ooh, this is the nice seat. Great. Just gonna start it. Yeah. There they are. My people brought lunch to us. So what'd you find out? Well, there's a big gear bar. There's a big drive shaft that goes from about the back of the combine. It goes all the way to the front. There's a gearbox up there. And the gearbox is when you turn the gear, when you turn the switch on, that runs the whole front end of the combine. When you just turn the separator on, it's shaking real hard. We don't know what the story is. So we're gonna get this truck filled anyway. Okay. Yes. The last video is broken dryer, this video is broken combine. That's right, and I got the I got it on video of it shaking too. Nice. See, I don't know how long this thing been like this. I didn't ever notice that Johnny's winding it. When he got on here, no, he might have been doing it for a long time. Oh, you can't feel it in there? I think you really notice it when it's just empty, you know, when it's running. Dad's gonna call John Deere, have them come up and look at it. We're gonna do a little bit more here. Hopefully it doesn't fly clear to pieces. Is it being full? Must be. Uh, Dad's truck's five and little John's a six. Need another round. Male equivalent to a Karen. Oh no, there isn't one. Richard. Oh. If you guys know what the male equivalent to a that Karen thing is. That thing's been vibrating like that a long time because I don't notice anything different. Let us know in the comments below. What? You're a freak. Why? Mm. We called caning equipment and uh, they never came that day. 
they're pretty busy right now. Um, everybody and their brother around here is cutting beans and and uh, shelling corn, taking advantage of this beautiful weather that we're having right now. Um, they never came that day, but we went ahead and we kept on running. Um, we ran. Like I say, we did seven th we did seven loads that day, seven thousand bushels, and um, we ended up doing all of our test plots. And I've got all the information for the test plots also, and we'll share some of that with you in an upcoming video. But um, we ended up having a pretty good day for as wet as the corn was. Um, seven loads was pretty good for what our dryer can do, and for as wet as the corn was. Um, Corn is almost as 27 to 30 percent moisture. So, um, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.